I Bowen, welcome back to Sri Lanka. In Sinhalese language, I Bowen means long life. long life. Sri Lanka has been famous for many things since the ancient time, especially visiting our family and meeting our friends for us. And of course, Sri Lanka has been famous for two major things in the past. The first one was cinnamon. Sri Lankan cinnamon is being sought out from the ancient time. Arabs, Portuguese, Dutch, English. They all came to Sri Lanka for the spice. Actually, the best cinnamon is still produced in Sri Lanka. The Roman Empire imported Sri Lankan cinnamon. It was a luxury in Venetian towns. At one time, the cinnamon was more expensive than gold, or even it was exchanged for gold in the market. Then, during the English time, there was another commodity started developing. That is nothing other than tea. But one could never negate the scenery behind the tea states, which is attracting more tourists than any other in Sri Lanka at the moment. And what else? Finest tea, coconut, pineapple, bananas, monkeys, segaria, elephants, colorful monks, beautiful train rides. But we are not here to talk about that. We are in a different place. A place surrounded by lots of history and a wonderful nature. Welcome to Habarana. In this video, we're going to see what you can do in Habarana. If you are in Habarana, you don't want to miss a safari. Here, you can see elephants in their own environment and they are close to you. You can even make a selfie with an elephant. And also, you don't want to miss this place. This is Segeria, Kashyapa's fortress. Some even say it was built by the ancient king, Ravana, who has abducted Sita from India. And it was depicted in the oldest novel called Ramayana. According to some historians, Kashyapa lived here in this palace with hundred concubines. Whatever said about Kashyapa, he still left a legacy for us to enjoy. The nature, its creatures are formidable in this place and a beautiful sunset you don't want to miss. This is Kandalama Hotel, nestled inside a jungle. After listening to the soothing flute music in the panoramic pool, you've been greeted by the forest's permanent residents. Sometimes they are timid, sometimes they are unsure. We rather leave it like that and that is best for them. Before we go ahead, let's see how you can travel to this place. Sri Lankan train experience is completely different than to what you have seen in Europe or in America. Or you can take a bus. Actually, this is a party bus. Bus service from Colombo to Habarana are not bad. <laughs> Once you are here, it's quite relaxing. You just want to sit down by the pool and listen to the music. The nature's music, the wind blowing, 
the squirrels and so many different birds this is one of the hotels we stayed dudley hotel an amazing place to stay it's quite cheap and also you can stay in luxury tree houses in the night it glows as the constellation from a different galaxy it's beautiful it's tranquil but still on earth trees growing inside you can't believe you are living inside or you living along with the nature you can't be that far from the nature in this place today i'm going to take you to a different dimension it's a different dimension of living and it's mutu village haberna there are plenty of restaurants which serve european food as well as the local food and our family really liked food in this place the testimony remains over the walls all around the restaurant now we're going to take you back to a cave from ancient past tambulla cave temple is not far from haberna this is one of the place you don't want to miss this has been built during first century before christ most probably the monks were here and meditating now it functions as a museum it's a very good place for a day visit let's see this temple in detail before that let's see how we travel from haberna Sri Lankans can be very friendly sometimes especially our hotel owner Mr Dudley has offered to take us to Dambulla temple in his car Sri Lankan roads can be quite busy but in this part of the world it's not busy at all especially during the crisis where the petrol is a bit scarce we just passed the Dambulla clock tower and we'll be reaching to the temple soon It's custom to carry lotus flowers or lilies to temple. Do you see his hair? It looks like Donald Trump's hair. Donald Trump's? Yeah. Well, according to our daughter, the monkey's hair looked like Donald Trump's hair. Anyway, we are in the complex of this Dambulla temple. This is the modern part of the temple where they have a museum as well and lots of Buddhist statues. The temple is situated on a hill. The one side where we are now is the modern side and once we climb up to the top where you can reach the caves at the moment let's go walk around colorful bogan villas love this climate especially when there is a lot of rain and a lot of sun in buddhist temple while you walking around you usually remove your shoes the golden statue of lord buddha looks over one side of the hill To reach the ancient caves we need to climb down here reach to the bottom and take the steps from the other side before we reach there let's meet up with the permanent residents of this place meditative monks are not here in this area anymore but it is occupied by our cousins who chose not to leave the forest and they are here for a reason which you will see soon oh that the right sister <laughs> look not this mali's flower thank you very much hello thank yes. you oh. look <laughs> no no what happened to your flower why does one around mommy's neck if i can catch him look at that snake in the center hello hi hey. they want to take the flowers <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Vicky. Vicky. Thank you very much. Yes. Say thanks to her. Look, you just they just eat the inside. All our flowers for offering has been snatched by our friends. Now we have no choice than walking up. It's not a difficult climb anyway. Oh, look at this. You. Goes. Smile. <laughs> We are going to eat them. Yeah. We're just going to eat them. Take this. Thank you. 
The lady said the monkeys don't snatch flowers from her. Probably they know that she is there every day. Unless she gives them, they go and eat. It's a quite pleasant climb. Actually, I'm carrying uh, our little son Adam on my back, and I don't find that it's testing on me. Another flower gone. Uh. Halfway through, we reach a summit where we see a board which says that we need to climb down to the other side to go to the ticket office. This is Aralia Mal. Aralia. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells really nice. I know. Beatles. Yeah. The Buddhist temple complex and the school is being found here. I agree this side is more peaceful, surrounded by the jungle and the mountain. Definitely a best place to study and meditate. Wanna try again? Friend, they don't like this one. You okay? Again all our flowers being snatched by our cousins. Foreign passport holders need to buy a ticket from this counter. Apparently for locals you don't need a ticket. Some people might find a bit annoyed uh, with these uh, differences but on the other hand the tickets are not very expensive especially when you're converting hard currency. Oh, like this would have been the original path to the caves. The lady wanted to sell some more flowers and I said uh, there's no point with buying flowers and next step the monkeys come and snatch them. It looked like the monkeys prefer the white flowers. Uh, it must be the lotus flower. They don't really like the purple one. I'm not sure what it is. Look at this tree. Where is it holding? To the rock. Yeah. Wasp, wasp, wasp. They are the pollinators, isn't it? Look at the top of that mountain. Yeah. The view is amazing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to zoom in because I'm using my GoPro here. Sometimes I wish I would have brought my other camera. But again, normal cameras are not very good for this kind of uh, videos, especially with movement and um, it catches every moment and the images are quite shaky oh oh look at that oh my god that tree has just fallen <laughs> well done that was a big shock a big branch has fallen and just missing those people who passed by by probably milliseconds oh my god some god had protected them It's windy, but it's very pleasant over here. Prehistoric Sri Lankans would have lived in these caves before Buddhism came to this country. They found burial places uh, which dated back to 2700 years old. These statues and paintings are from a century before Christ, and there are 153 Buddha statues, three statues for Sri Lankan kings, and a few goddess and goats. Interestingly, every Buddhist temple has a separate place where they have Hindu goats and goddesses. While two different goats could share one temple, the people of this same country struggled to share the land. A devastating civil war lasted over two decades. These are the largest and best preserved cave complex in Sri Lanka thanks to the darkness inside which preserved the paintings. There are more than 80 documented caves around this area but this is the largest out of all. These caves had been converted to monastery at some point and even it gave refuge to one of the king who was running from a war. Walking along this long 
corridors is quite meditative and it's a great feeling it just take you back to that ancient era there are different chambers inside this cave and you can visit all of them totally five of them and they have different kind of statues and different shapes first century they are from the first century before christ apparently it's such a beautiful site you don't want to miss it and it's not only a buddhist place it's for anyone you can come here you can relax and it just bring you so much energy these drawings of the ceilings are mesmerizing how could they do it such a long time ago and still stays as a testament to the glory of the past sometimes i can't believe that i am walking on this land on these rocks where a prehistoric human walked 2700 or 3000 years ago unfortunately we could stay no it was time for us to leave and say goodbye to this temple to this caves until we come back again but we going to walk to the mahiyangana lake to spend our sunset our afternoon tranquility to reach the hotel we took a shortcut that actually took us through the cinnamon hotel entrance you can see beautiful landscaped gardens around uh, both side of the road and once you passed this bit it took us through a small path and that led to a small area where the houses and shops abandoned i was a bit shocked in the beginning as to what happened here at some point uh, probably before the cinnamon came here this was a thriving place with tourists i'm not sure what happened here there was some some kind of court case something went wrong and there's some court order and these houses are uh, abandoned now. but when we walked further near the lake there were still some places still habitable look like people there but still it look like abandoned as well a beautiful bungalow just locked there's no one inside it's in a very beautiful location as well no one living Let's go back. So I'm down at Lakeside. S2019. Stop. Even some businesses were abandoned. Then we reach further down and see a big hotel. Maybe a hotel with 200 odd rooms abandoned. I'm not sure what's happening here. Then, of course, we reach this beautiful lake. situated quietly behind the mahiyangana town it's a wonderful place if you want to go and relax there's no one around here it's very safe for tourists you just need to find out from the locals the way to reach here and you can of course go and spend an afternoon or evening in a sunset in the tranquility i would even recommend you to go for a sunrise Sri Lanka is famous for loads of lakes. Uh, our ancient kings were pioneers in building lakes and rivers and dams. They all did for agriculture. Because Sri Lanka was self-sufficient in producing rice and other agricultural products we never imported but even exported. These boats are built specially for this area. They're quite flat. The lake is is shallow, no waves, and uh, hence the boat has this shape. This 
place where people come and bath. Most Sri Lankan lakes and rivers, you can have a bath, you can have a dip in. An old tree, maybe a 500 years old or more. From <laughs> Nandi Yel. Mula Tee Na Me Bebe. Malu. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I always love to talk to locals, especially even uh, exchanging a few words. This area is so amazing. Now the lake finishes here in a small kind of rivulet. It goes further to a small place where the water can be controlled. It looks like uh, they don't want the water to go higher than certain level because it can flood. The neighboring areas and farmlands because the lake is slightly oh. higher than the ground to hear the birds. There's so many different kinds of birds there, were even some peacocks there. From here, the water level of the lake can be controlled. If it rains a lot and there's lo so much water, then they open these floodgates. Uh oh, look at this. What are we working on? Mm -hmm. Small waterfalls, tall trees, marshland. What a beautiful place for birds to hang around. Hence you can see so many. And of course there was a moment for Hassan to act as Tarzan. It's mesmerizing to hear the sounds of water falling, wind blowing, the birds. I just want to hear. I just want to stay here forever. I wish I could do that. Palmyra trees, a kind of palm. Mahigan is peaceful. It's not busy. That not many tourists. But the infrastructure is so nice. Of course, you can spend a few days here, especially visiting around the areas. It's time to say goodbye to this wonderful place until we come back again. Until then, have a great time. And we had a great time. I wish you could all come and visit this wonderful place and have a great moment. See you again. Until then, take care.